Good morning. Now, now I come down. You thought you knew my name. Switched it up like Diddy Fang. Then we tried to label me from City Twisted Spirit Way. Please come Franklin Cardi B. All these people watch and see. Wait for your time to eat. On this positivity. Hey y'all, welcome to Moni's Table. I'm your girl Moni. Before we get into the video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that little bell that's beside the subscribe button so that you can receive instant notifications of when I upload a new video. Cause a lot goes down at the table so you don't wanna miss it this is a uh, different type of video here if you haven't viewed my last video where i did my what's in my closet haul just showing you all different ways i put outfits together because a lot of times i've been getting asked questions like where do i shop and all this stuff so if you haven't checked that video out look in my description box I'm going to put a link, hopefully, if I remember. I'm going to put a link to that video in my description box. So you don't have to go searching through my hundreds of videos to find it. I am going to do a DIY. Okay? A fashion DIY. Okay? I have been into the puffer style sleeves with shirts, with jackets. Even though I haven't been able to find a jacket, which is why I'm doing this video okay I've seen this one I've seen this I'm gonna put it on this side <laughs> yeah. I've seen this one online but um I haven't been able to find it like and then some of the websites that did pop up when I did a search it was like from China and the reviews was horrible the reviews was like the jacket don't match the picture and trying to return stuff via online and mail and all that it's it's just not the business it's if it's not amazon amazon has the easiest returns like to be an online store the easiest so i don't want to take that chance and have to go through all of that okay to return so um, a couple of months ago, I purchased this one piece. Let me show y'all. So, I purchased this one piece, okay? And it was on sale for $10. So, I got it, and it's a 1X, okay? It's a 1X, but if you look, it has the puffer sleeve that I like. Okay, it's not as puffed, <laughs> so to speak, as I would like it to be, but it still gives that same type of style. Um, so being that this is a one piece, and when I bought it, I wasn't thinking, okay, it's summertime now, and I can fit it. I'm not going to be able to fit this when fall or winter hits, which is the time you would wear a full one piece jean set, you know. Uh, I didn't think about that, that I wouldn't be able to fit it um, until recently. I'm like, I'm never going to get to wear this. As you see, the tag is still on it. Tag is still on it. Got it from It's Fashion. It was originally $34.99, and they marked it down. Those are the three markdowns. Okay. To $9.99. To $9.99. $10. So, what I'm going to do... Because of the way it's made, um, it has the button right there at that thick band. Even the belt loops stop right there at that thick band. I am going to cut this, okay? Now, the bottoms, being that they're a 1X, they are a little loose, but not too bad where I can't get away with it. Um, I, could, I can still probably wear the bottoms. It's this part. But with it being a jacket, I don't mind it being a little, a little loose, okay? But it's real stretchy, so even though it's a 1X, it's, it fits good, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't fit bad, but by the time I'm able to really wear it as a one piece, I'm not going to be able to fit it. I'm not, I'm, because it's going to be too big. It's not going to look right. But as a jacket, even if it's a little too big, 
um, it'll still look right. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to snip, 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 and <laughs> see if I can turn this into two pieces instead of one. All right, so yeah, keep watching. All right, so hopefully this is a good angle for you all. Have my <laughs> my scissors. I'm going to cut right here at the top of the band, but not too close because I'm going to need this belt loop. That's one thing. My pants, uh, let me get down lower. My pants have to have a belt loop um, unless they're leggings. And even sometimes the leggings is, is bad because I be pulling them up all day. Because my hip to waist ratio, it's a lot of inches of, of difference. So, I have to have a belt loop. So, I want to make sure when I cut, I don't cut too close where it detaches the belt loop. Okay? Let me get started, y'all. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. But, um, we're going to see. We're going to try to make it work. Okay? Try to make it do what it do. Alright? I'm just going to put a little slit. Okay, and then cut going around instead of just straight across, front and back. I'm going to do the front first. And these are not the best scissors at all, okay? But I'm going to um, try to de-stress these. So, I'm not really worrying about the straightness of the cut. Because I'm going to make it look ripped and stuff anyway. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to see how this come out. I'm going to see. So, got that part done. Detached. So, I can open that up. I'm going to do this side. Say around the belt loops. I don't want it too low. I was gonna do this with a razor, but I don't know if I can get it as accurate with the razor as I can with the scissors. So I don't I felt safer with the scissors. Alright, so now so I can see. Now I can do the back part of it. All right, so I fully detached the jeans from the, bo the bottom part from the top. So now I have some more jeans, which I don't have jeans this color. I have the darker blue, like the ones I have on now, but I don't have jeans this color. So, hey, I needed some that color anyway, so... Hey, <laughs> I didn't made one outfit. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's already kind of loose on the the arms, so it's like a half jacket, like a crop. It's a crop jacket. So here's my waist, and it falls right here. But it's fine. It's still giving me the look that I've been going for. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make some slits like on the, the uh, sleeve part around the wrist area. Um, I'm going to make some slits around the collar. Uh, and on the pockets. Just some little cuts. And then I'm going to throw it in the washer. And... See if it distresses it more. And I think I gotta wash it in hot water. 
for it to distress. I don't know. I don't watch so many videos. I think it's hot water though. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the jeans the same way. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna distress these though, but I am gonna throw it in the washer just to, to see the part where I cut. It's a little uneven, even though most of the time my shirts fall over that part anyway. But I might distress just that part and maybe the bottom a little bit. Just in case I want it to wear it together, it looks kind of uniform. But it really don't have to. I'm just, you know, <laughs> just uh, being creative here, okay? And I wish I would have took a picture with the whole outfit on. I didn't even think about that. Little cuts, you know. I just fold and cut. Fold and cut. Ooh, don't cut your nail, girl. My nail tech will have a fit. Okay, y'all, so I am done with the sleeves. If you can see the little nicks in them. Um, and that's how I did the pocket. I decided to leave the jeans. Just leave them the way they are. I encourage y'all, if you do this, do it on the floor because, y'all... Look at all this on my bed. So I got to vacuum my bed. <laughs> so, do it on the floor, okay? Somebody throw these in the washer and then I'll be back to show y'all the finished look. Hopefully this works. Keep your fingers crossed. All right. the outfit out of the dryer so this is how it came out this show y'all the jacket this side of the sleeves came out so it's not as distressed as I thought it was gonna be but I only put little slits in it I still I love it I love the way it came out um smells good <laughs> that down y'all um that's the pockets I love how that came out I didn't I wanted these to be like just accent, not where it was really, really distressed. But y'all, the bottom came out great. Like, I love the way the bottom came out. Love. So, that's the top. I didn't do around the collar. I just left it the way it was. And the jeans came out really really good so that's the part where i cut around the waist and it looks like the bottom part of the jacket so i think it came out good so i'm about to try it on okay about to try it on so i'll be back so i have the jeans on and y'all they are really 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 big um well not really really big but they really loose around the waist but not too bad where I can't wear them. I got some room. <laughs> a lot of room in them. So, but I'll definitely have to put a belt on or I will be doing this the whole time I'm wearing them. So, I'm going to put the jacket on and then I'll be back. So, I have the jacket on. It's so cute. It is so cute. I love how the pockets and stuff came out. I'm going to have to put an iron to the collar so it will lay down and put an iron to the pockets so it'll, they'll lay down but it came out good it really did let me give y'all another angle all right so yeah i think it's cute i still want to find one where the sleeves are a little more puffy but it still gives me that girly puffer sleeve feel so yeah, I'm all right. I'm satisfied with it. I can definitely pair this with some other jeans or a skirt or a dress, you know, however I choose to pair it. it smells so good. But I definitely still want to find one where it's, the sleeves are a little more puffy, but this will do for now. I think it's cute. 
all right so that is the end of the video thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this diy and you would like to see more videos like this make sure you hit that like make sure you subscribe hit that bell and leave a comment in the comment section down below um and yeah that is it until we meet again may god be with you and may heaven smile upon you be blessed bye